I think it's every artist's dream to be given a space, any space to work in, and for me to be given such an enormous amount of space. Um, almost felt a bit overwhelming at first. I kind of didn't know what to do with it. But now that I've been here for a few days and kind of started to bring things in, it's feeling more and more like my space and somewhere I can work in. So obviously now I'm just working on some of the pieces that I brought back from Japan or some new ones that are still inspired by my visit in Kyoto. But I think down the line it'd be really good to use it for a variety of different purposes. Um, one is an exhibition space so I can kind of like invite people in and show them my work but also um, use that as like a launch pad to, to talk about art in a more general sense. There are a few other projects that I'm juggling at the moment. Um, one is an ambition to create a big mural in one of the restaurants down below. And that's very exciting because it's something very different from what I've done before. I'm hoping to have a lantern workshop here. And um, I'm gonna use this time now to research about lanterns. Uh, experiment in making them myself and then hopefully then you know put that out there to the public to all ages I decided to visit the National Gallery for a source of inspiration I thought it would suit the kind of space that I've been given to paint in the restaurant. Yeah, I don't know if Van Gogh specifically is going to be my main source of inspiration, but has always been anyway as a painter. He suffered from very severe mental illness. He was cripplingly poor most of his life and alone. So to talk about him it would be it's sad, I think. His painting style is amazing. Whatever his inspiration was, it's not only the use of colour, but the use of shapes. And really like a different way to see the world. So this afternoon we visited the restaurant space and slightly intimidating at first when you get met with a big blank, blank space that you know you need to fill, but it's also very exciting because you know that you have the possibility to create something quite, quite beautiful and quite bright. There's a bit of a mental challenge of uh, stepping back and looking at such a large space and making sure that every detail is well executed, but then also kind of tells a holistic story when you step back and look at it. But I'm thinking to keep it on a theme that is quite uh, nature-based and botanical and perhaps draw inspiration from also some of the flowers and plants that I saw while I was in Kyoto. Sometimes as an artist you have to accept that nature is always going to be better at you at presenting something beautiful.